on this boat because they released that 11.9 Sportsman but this Discovery 133 is nice. Excuse my ex noise as I move everything around. Come on, son. Ah, out of the water for now, please. Okay, right here. In there. Play. Lay down. Lay down. Boy, stay. I know this is nerve wracking for you. Stay. I get a lot of power with this paddle. I'd like to get out of here and move it. It's about an hour. Actually, about two hours away. Somewhere I'm over. Say good morning, stunt. Yeah, say good morning, stunt. No, you gotta stay there, dude. So this is my old town Discovery 133 guys, my little 13 and a half foot old town. Maybe my first video will be something of a review on this one. We'll see. I'm not sure. I don't think old town's getting a lot of credit for this thing. I keep saying that. But um, I mean, you saw me unload it, drag it down to the water, me and the dog are in it, paddle and do some fishing. I've had this thing down Beaver Creek in Ohio. It has some class two rapids. I had my four year old with me. And, hey, we did all right. We did not sit, nothing like that. There was a couple times where I mean, we ran over some rocks. So, it's 40 inches wide, um, beam to beam. Is that what they're called? The size. I'm not very familiar on two terms yet. Like 
72 pounds. Maneuvers very nicely on the water. The shallow large bottom. Well, why did I go with a canoe instead of a kayak? Well, because I always take a dog or I have my child. Our child. I'm married. The other day we did an island fishing trip. I'll see if I can put some pictures up in the video. Traffic's not being overly loud. Deegan and Evan are still sleeping. So I figured I'd walk around and show you our little island. Spot. Evan did pretty good last night fishing. Got two nice sized catfish. This place has broken glass everywhere. But this is cool. Please keep this clean for everyone to enjoy. Deegan was saying it's the Butterfly Island. pretty flat up here. I mean, it sucks it's all sand and mud. Deegan's in the ball of blankets. That's heaven. <coughs> Water's like glass on this side. That was nice and warm. What is all over my boat? Some kind of seed. Just beautiful out here today. Let's see if I can show you guys up in the catfish. Can you see those? That's going to be lunch today. The little one was mine. Alright, well, I think I'm going to wake these two up and get breakfast going. <coughs> Got a lot to do today.
Alright guys, talk to you later. Is that your little camp? Mm-hmm. Camp for the night. We are on an island on Birdland Lake. canoed here. And that's Evan. And there's Deegan. And Seventy-two pounds. It's light, but it's still fairly hefty. I love my canoe. Thank you, Old Town. This thing has been awesome. I was considering the guide, the guide 147, but I'm so glad I went with this. 
I like having that extra width. Oh, and I don't have pictures or video of it, but we did take one of Bass Pro Shop's little outboard mounts, and we had a, um, oh, what was that? Like a four horsepower Evinrude on this thing. And man, it was scooting. It was going. That was a fun time. I don't know though, the fish are jumping like crazy. I was half afraid I was going to miss the morning bite because I was like two hours late getting out here. It's 8 30. I wanted to be out here by the time the sun was coming up this morning. The trick for me is going to be staying here and not going, is, is going to be going home and not staying here tonight. I told my wife as she was leaving to work this morning that uh, I had to slim my day pack down so I wasn't tempted because we're supposed to have friends coming over for the night. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for my videos guys. I mean, I'm a handicap outdoorsman. I think you guys are going to like some of the things I have to offer. I'm going to be a little bit of a different channel. There's going to be some outdoor stuff, some DIY stuff. I do a lot of woodworking, as most of you have seen on my Instagram. Um, antique restorations, that's, that's my deal. I love antique restorations. I go, I go catfishing all the time. I'm a big catfisher. Today I'm not quite after them. I'm going to try to catch some bass or some walleye today. Not really fishing for musky, but if I happen to hook one, that'd be alright too. Other than my handsome tenor, yeah, this boy is eight years old. Are you eight or nine this year? I think you're eight because whenever I want to think you're nine, I think you're a year older than you always have been. So that's probably how it works. Leesville Lake. I'm right down here by the dam. There's a lot of cabin communities around here if you guys just heard people yelling. <laughs> See the sailboat? I don't know how good this camera is. I'm still kind of messing around with it. Oh, it doesn't go in that way. Oh, and as soon as I stop film, as soon as I stop showing you guys over there, fish start jumping again. What's that?
Alright. Try that now. J-stroke. I'm not just, I'm not, not steering the canoe, but it's not bad. I mean, I think you'd, you'd have to steer any canoe. You're not just going to paddle it and it's going to go straight. That never happens. You have to steer it. you there. But the otter tails are supposed to be better for lake travel and that's the majority of what I do. I hope this has been staying straight. I haven't even been watching. I've been looking over the side watching the woods. Such a nice day out here. 
This has been an awesome morning. About another 20 minutes to get over to the car. Home by two o'clock. Gas pump. I'm not pumping. video. Um, like I said, not everything I do, there's going to be very few gear reviews. You know, I'll probably, I'll give you guys what I feel in a product as I'm on a trip or something like that. My main reason for wanting to do the review of this is because when I was looking up information, there was not a whole lot of people saying anything about the Discovery 133s. So, I think maybe it might help Old Town a little bit. And I'm not sponsored by Old Town. I bought this boat with my own money. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, keep an eye out for more of my videos. Like I said, they're not going to be gear reviews. I do a lot of outdoor stuff. Hunting, fishing, trapping, camping, canoeing. And not to keep toting this around, but I'm handicapped. So I think I could help a lot of you guys out. Um, show you how I go about doing things and how I've cut weight out of my backpack and things like that so hit that like button subscribe keep an eye out for half pace